So a lot of people ask like who named my little guy and um, they had a list of names and you know, I, I kind of thought, you know, I've picked out names every, I think most girls pick out names yes. that they like to name their kids and, and our names were very different. And I kind of came to the realization that, you know, I have names picked out for me that I want to be in my life every day. You know, I want to, if I name somebody Thomas, I want them to live in my house. And um, this is their kid. This, I, I very much felt that this was their child to name and and take accountability for and that this was their decision. I mean, I had a little crying moment about it, but you know, this was their deal. They were taking him home. They would, they got to talk, you know, this yeah. was their, their situation or responsibility. So I didn't really have any input and I'm fine with it. Yeah, my son's parents had a name chosen for him before they even ever met me. Um, and it's great. <laughs> He has a darling first name, and they were kind enough to let me choose his middle name. And we had some conversation. You know, I told them what I liked. They told me what they liked. I wasn't going to choose any of those. <laughs> and I chose the name that I would have named him if I parented him. See, for me, I had, um, I had a name that was just for me that I called her throughout my pregnancy. But honestly, the name has probably left my mouth a total of three times. Like, the adoptive parents didn't know about it. My family didn't know about it. It was just me and her. It was kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. Like, that was my little, my little connection with her. And I didn't want to tell the adoptive parents about it because I felt like they would feel pressure to use that as her name. And I didn't want that. I wanted the connection. I wanted her to be my little, you know, that name. And then after she was born, them to give her her name and so it was kind of that separation you know she was mine and now she's theirs um, but they actually came to me in the hospital and I was so surprised because I thought I would have nothing to do with naming her which I was completely fine with but they came to me in the hospital and um, presented me with two family names and let me pick which I was just so honored to do just completely blown away one of them was not the prettiest name and so obviously I went with the one that I liked a little bit more <laughs> but um yeah I was just so honored that they they involved me in such a you know that name's going to be with her for the rest mm -hmm. of her life and it was really mm -hmm. cool that I got to be a little piece in that I think it's so beautiful when couples will ask for a contribution from the birth family I think that's very cool and then the kid can have both branches in their yes. name. That's really yes. beautiful. It, at the time that I placed, it wasn't, we didn't have a lot of contact. So it wasn't really set up in such a way where that was how it went. So they named him and that's just fine. Cause like you said, it's their kid, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they should, they should give him a name. If they'd asked for a contribution, I would have loved to participate, mm -hmm. but I'm absolutely fine uh, that they named their, their, their child, mm -hmm. you know? And, but I've told him, I'm like, if you were mine, you would have been Ivan Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then I called him Gabriel because with the closed adoption, I wasn't allowed to know what his name was. Um, and so it was just some generic random name I picked. But then when the caseworker broke the rules and told me his name, she called me once and she said, do you want to know his first name? And I was like, yes, because any little bit of informa information, mm -hmm. any little morsel of information would like sustain me for months, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, yes. And she says, it's Justin. And I was like, and that's a name I would have never picked, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm all about naming kids after trees and weird stuff like that, you know? <laughs> but like, he was so Justin. It was, he just, I was like, oh, of course he is. He just felt like Justin. He never yeah. felt like Gabriel. I was like, yeah, Justin, naturally, you yeah. know? Yeah. He doesn't like it though, on account of a couple of pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could have known that was coming, but. 